Have you ever said to someone that you need to keep them on a short leash? Today's falconry words are short leash. So when you have a falconry glove, it's usually where the bird's going to sit. Charlie's participating just by sitting on a perch back there. But there's a leash attached to our falconry gloves. And there's a little clip, little D-ring that we tie it to. Normally there's a clip on the other end too, but I just have this tied. And this clips there, or it clips to the jesses on a bird. They have leather straps that are attached around their feet. Um, I've got a lot of videos showing the jesses. And if you're trying to stay attached to your birds, you'll clip that directly to the jesses. However, they do something called baiting sometimes. There's a video about baiting. It's when they fly off of the glove or they fly off of the perch. You don't want to encourage that, but sometimes they get spooked or lose their balance or something, especially her when she's got the wonky foot. So right now she could fly to the end of this leash. And if they fly, hard enough, fast enough, they could kind of hurt themselves if, you know, it, it does this to their legs, like around their legs. Usually it doesn't, right? And they're just kind of baiting a little, and they kind of just go around in a circle and come back. But if I have this whole leash, they could hit me in the face, they could, you know, fly around, pull, pull around, hit somebody. So it's beneficial to shorten the leash. When you've got the jesses, let me grab a jess and I'll show you. So how falconers would shorten the leash is if our bird is sitting on the side of the glove, we would have the leash through the thumb and the rest of the glove. I was also taught to put it between my third and fourth fingers. This really holds it down with a leather glove. So it's a way to just really keep the leash short. So then you'll have their jesses with a little hole in the ends that you would attach the clip to. Let's just pretend here. Okay. Now you would even have to hold the leash. I use between these two fingers, other people don't. And then laced through the glove, pretend this is attached to the bird. Now you've got them on a very short leash. If they try to fly off, they can't. They can't go very far. So this is safer in some situations. I tend to give Charlie kind of a medium long leash because her feet are so wonky that I can't hold both of them up here tight like you normally would with a bird because it's just not fair. Like she can't balance. I baby her a little bit too, but that's, that's something else. So keeping a bird on a short leash is actually for safety. It can be for their health, so they're not banging up against, you know, the end of a leash. Um, also, how I lost Charlie for a month was that she flew to the end of a, a, a much longer line called a crayance, but she was still technically tethered, leashed. Um, she flew to the end of it. This was not the intention, obviously, um, and the Jesses broke because she had gained speed on the end of the leash and it broke and she kept going. I have a video about that story. That was crazy banana pants. So the term short leash dates all the way back to ancient falconry. It has to do with tethering a bird's feet. And I think that's all we have to say about that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. What's this? This is a Jess. You know what those are. Yes, you do. Because then you'll have... Did I drop the jest? Yeah, it got on me. Other people's. Yeah, but short leash... Uh, uh, eh. But surely... Sure. <laughs>